Hi, this is Jake Daniels, President and CEO of TrueRife. Today, I will be providing you a step-by-step -step guide all the way from what's in the box to getting your software downloaded to a PC or Mac, getting your TrueRife system hooked up to run bulb and bath programs, and at the end, we'll be doing some tips and tricks to make sure you get the most benefit out of your TrueRife system. Stay tuned and let's get you going on your new TrueRife. Before I show you how to set up your TrueRife to get your bulb or bath program running, I want to talk about the importance of grounding. I have a TrueRife ground pad and a TrueRife ground sheet included with every package, and although it's not mandatory, we highly recommend that you be grounded for every single application when you're running a TrueRife program. The ground pad itself is designed to be flexible to come with you around the house and plug directly into the F122 in the front port here labeled ground, and the ground sheet is meant specifically for the crystal hammer overnight bulb. This is put above your mattress, below the fitted sheet, and plugged directly into a wall outlet. Again, not mandatory, but please be grounded every time you're running a TrueRife program. Stay tuned for the next installment. Now that we have everything unpackaged, let's do a what's in the box for the premium package. Starting off, I've got our TrueRife travel case. I've got our TrueRife ground pad, which is sitting inside our foot bathtub our timer and heater combination, our F122 frequency generator, our spiral bulb, jackhammer amplification system, our laptop, which is optional, along with our mouse, crystal hammer bulb in the front, true focus system, GRS scanner, our true rife ground sheet, ion pro wave, and we've got our supernova bulb already mounted on our tripod stand. Now that we've done our what's in the box, stay tuned for the next installment. Okay, today's video is going to be how to download TrueRife version 6 software for Windows. As soon as you purchase an F122 frequency generator from us, or you get a package, you'll get an email with the version 6 software download here. And we're going to go ahead and click on that link to download software, which is this one in blue. Take you to our website, and today we're doing it for Windows. So we'll click the download button under the Windows icon here. And as soon as you get done downloading it, it should pop up automatically into your downloads here. And we're gonna double click this setup, TR 6.0. And you won't be able to see this, but there's a pop-up here that says user account control. And you wanna click the yes button instead of the no. That's just a security setting. And then here we're gonna hit a few series of nexts. One next, we'll hit the yes. If, you pop, if it pops up, if not, just click the next. Uh, we're going to do next, next, install. And this should take 30 seconds to a minute, give or take, to uh, download everything. Now we're going to install this AppMail USB driver. We just want to make sure we click I agree to the license and terms and then hit install. All right, set up successful. We can hit the close button here. Now we're downloading the zip file. This has all your frequencies in it. All right, it says completing the TrueRife setup. We're gonna go ahead and click finish. And that just launched your TrueRife software, we're going to go ahead and click the Update Frequencies button in the top right hand corner. And you'll see it updating at the bottom. And right at the very end, we should get a done updating frequencies once we're all finished. There it is, done updating frequencies. You should be able to hit Open Program. Here's your full library, and we are ready to go. Okay, now that we have everything identified out of the box and we have our software downloaded, the next thing we're gonna do is run our first bulb program. I've got my laptop with USB connected directly to the back of our F122 jackhammer amplifier. And for demonstration purposes, I have our Dr. Joe spiral. Typically you'll be doing this with either the crystal hammer overnight bulb or the QX2, but for demonstration purposes, the Dr. Joe has a very bright light. So we'll be using that today. First thing I'm gonna do is plug in our black cord from the bulb into the bottom of the jackhammer, and then plug that directly into the black port in the F122. Same thing, red to red here. And we're gonna make sure we're switched to bulb, and we're gonna go ahead and fire up the F122. 
On my True Ripe software version six, I already have Acid Reflux up and ready to go. All I need to do is hit run. And we just ran our first True Ripe program. Stay tuned for the next installment. Okay, next up, I wanna talk about our Jackhammer amplification system and usage. Uh, before I get started, I wanna point out that this is compatible with all of our bulbs here at True Ripe, except for two. It is not compatible with the QX2 or the Tornado bulb. Uh, so do not use it with those. You will end up damaging uh, the unit and have to send it back in for repair. So let's talk about some of the benefits of the amplifier. Uh, it does exactly what it sounds like. It increases the power of the bulb. And in this specific scenario, power means range. So let's talk about how it affects the Crystal Hammer overnight bulb, what it was really designed for. So the Crystal Hammer is recommended to be used between 18 and 24 inches from your body. And in some instances, we can actually be hugging it while we're running our overnight programs. The jackhammer allows us to put the crystal hammer under the bed about six to eight feet away from your body and still get the same amount of energy saturation as we would if we were hugging it without the jackhammer amplifier. Another question we get is how come my bulb is quieter and also dimmer? Uh, that's just a benefit of the jackhammer. It does take away a bit of the light uh, rest assured it is giving more energy out and you are getting a full saturation. So don't be worried if your bulb is less lit and it's less noisy. Stay tuned for the next installment. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Supernova bulb onto a desktop or a tripod stand. For demonstration purposes, I have our desktop, but the process is the same for the tripod. The only thing we need to make sure of after we've got it out of the package and into our base is there is a little wing nut up on top here on the desktop stand, it's a star shape. On the tripod, it's a circle shape. We need to remove that to make sure that the supernova fits flush onto the stand itself. So I've removed that. You can just throw it away. And I do want to loosen this to the left, push, push this out a bit, tighten that again. Here's our supernova bulb resting on our hammer pajama. And it simply runs through right in the bottom. You're now installed and ready to run your supernova. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Okay, next up, we're going to be looking at our Crystal Hammer Bulb Overnight Usage, along with our True Rife Metalized Ground Sheet. Now, I do have this ground sheet that's one size fits all, placed at the bottom of the bed lengthways, not up at the front of the bed, and this is very key, and I'll tell you why. Before we get into that, I want to show you just quickly, we want to make sure that our plastic snap is plugged into the bottom, and our three-prong plug is plugged directly into a wall outlet, and then I'll get into our Crystal Hammer Overnight Placement. There's two spots we can put our overnight bulb one hanging above the headboard, and the other is underneath the bed at the very front of the bed. Very key placement, and here's why. Our copper metalized ground sheet acts like a lightning rod, and any energy that's coming out of our crystal hammer bulb, we want to hit our body first. That's why we put it up at the front of the bed. This way, it enters through the top of our body, and the negative electrons end and ground through the ground sheet at the bottom of our body. Now you're ready to run your overnight sets. Thanks so much, and let's see the next installment. Okay, before we get started running our first foot bath program, I wanna point out something very important. Inside our True Rife software program, there is a folder labeled Ion ProWave. We wanna make sure that we are only running these programs with the foot bath and no other application, like a bulb for instance. These frequencies are much higher, designed specifically for the foot bath and not the bulb. They will end up frying a hyperdrive and you'll have to send it in for replacement. Now that we have that quick note out of the way, let's get started running your Ion ProWave. Okay, so I've got my laptop, some common table salt, my F122 frequency generator, ion pro wave, and I've got my foot bath tub. You're gonna have this filled up with warm water, not so high that when you put your feet in the foot bath in that it will overflow. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have three quarters of a tablespoon of common table salt, kind of stirred up in there to make sure, and that's gonna have your best conductivity. I'm gonna first start out by taking our ion pro wave and plugging it into the bottom right hand port here. We're gonna always make sure we have the switch to bath, not bulb. Then we're ready to go ahead and fire up our generator. We'll then go ahead and put our Ion Pro Wave into the warm water inside the foot bath. And you can go ahead and put your feet in as well. And we're ready to go ahead and open our Ion Pro Wave folder, hit the run button, and you're running your first foot bath program. Okay, I've got my timer and my heater plugged in directly to a wall outlet. This is for our Ion Pro Wave foot bath. The timer is strictly a safety precaution. Uh, this automatically will turn off your heater, which does stay on if you have it plugged directly into a wall outlet. That's why we've got the timer. Uh, there is a little toggle switch right here that you can use to turn up the temperature. 
I recommend uh, 94 degrees. And all we need to do is suction this to either the sidewall of the foot bathtub or in the bottom, and you're ready to start using your IM Pro Wave. Okay, that concludes our getting started videos. Thanks so much for watching and happy rifing.